So at this Partner in for Progress event, we really want to explore how we can build stronger partnerships with the community to improve outcomes for African and African Caribbean men faced with prostate cancer. We're really pleased that there are so many people here today representing community organisations, um, men affected by prostate cancer, healthcare professionals and researchers who are all here to discuss how we can work together better in partnership. The steering group is a multi-agency group made up of um, community groups and organisations from the African and Caribbean communities. We also, um, we also are, um, are constituted of lots of staff from Prostate Cancer UK. Um, the focus of the steering group was really to really get to get to grips with some of the underlying issues, but also how this event could help draw those priorities out, and so we can get this this um, partnership approach to, to dealing with with this very very complex issue. Uh, I did a workshop on partnering for progress, something that I'm passionate about. We have some really good partners that we work with in Nottingham and nationally. Um, and when you find the right partner, it actually makes your job easier. Um, what should happen is something should come out of that partnership that is completely new and mutually beneficial and actually um, help you to achieve the outcomes and, and have a vision and a goal that actually leads to something else. It creates new initiatives and I think it's really important that we actually look at that. Obviously for me even the title of the event is very important, Partnering for Progress. So I think in, in achieving the objective of raising awareness and to be frank saving lives, it's something that needs to be done in partnership. The range of organisations, the um, guest speakers and the delegates, I think it, it, it represents the range of, of, of partners that can actually make, uh, make it happen. You know, as we know, we're trying to raise more awareness in the black community. I think that's the key thing, that's the key thing we're looking for from so workshops like this, why don't men who are three times more likely to get prostate cancer go and get screened? I think it's a really honourable, um, you know, it's a really honourable and I think it's a very valuable thing that um, what uh, Prostate Cancer UK are doing because it's not just create, it's creating an opportunity for us as those communities to actually come together and to focus on this issue that affects um, African and, and Caribbean men. Um, and so, no, I, I really look forward to seeing what's the next step from today and where we can go with this.